Well, I was at a medical show. It was a health and wellness show for uh, for women's uh, problems. It was up there in Canada, and uh, I was representing the clinic there. And obviously, a person from Max just walked up to me and started talking to me of glutathione, and I said, "Well, <laughs> I know about it. I'm using it IV." Uh -huh. <laughs> and he said, "Oh, we have an oral preparation." And from my experience, I knew that glutathione was a protein and it would not go past the GI tract. So I thought, what is he telling me about an oral glutathione? Mm -hmm. So then he started talking to me more and he gave me you know, Dr. Keller's credentials. Mm -hmm. And of course he told me it was a network marketing stuff and I thought, no, I don't want to be involved with this. So when I went home, I just went to the computer and I googled up uh, Dr. Keller and I read about him and his research and mm -hmm. his credentials and I thought, okay, it's interesting, it's worth taking a look into this. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got with Max. When did you realize they weren't talking about putting glutathione molecules uh, in your mouth, but instead were getting the precursing nutrients in so that the cells can manufacture more of their own? Yes, when I read the composition of the GXL, mm -hmm. I saw that there was no component inside which said this is glutathione. Right. And then I realized, oh, they're not talking about putting oral glutathione inside. They're talking about different uh, individual ingredients which helps your body to produce and recycle this. And I read up whatever material I could uh, from various researches all over the world. Even I, I was surprised I got research material from even a uh, university in Turkey. I ordered. Uh, a few boxes of GXL and me and my wife we started taking it mm -hmm. first just to, to you know see what, what this does and um, by that time I had read so much of, on glutathione that I've, after three days I was I thought oh I am having some kind of placebo effect mm. <laughs> because the information I had spent three weeks on reading about glutathione because the information available is really overwhelming and I thought it was a placebo effect. Then I took this uh, GXL, I stripped open everything. I didn't tell them, you know, the package, the cover, what mm -hmm. it is. I took it to a few people uh, uh, whom I knew and I said, hey, try this capsule you know, and see what, what is this. They, they asked me, what is this? I, literally the word I used is, this is some snake oil from China. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> because I didn't want them to have a biased opinion because the first thing I knew anybody would do would they would just go and immediately Google, right. Google Max GXL and some may like it and some may immediately say oh no so I gave so it you, you, you gave it a negative connotation yeah, I right? gave it a, I did a, actually I did a single blind study uh -huh. a single uh -huh. blind study I gave it to 20 people 18 came back within a week and said they have noticed a difference. Wow. Two of them came and said, actually, I, have, I can't really say. So mm -hmm. I thought 80% return is excellent. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> so that's how I started off. Okay. When you and your wife started on Max GXL, what did you see? I noticed that I had more energy. I was able to spend the entire day in the clinic without feeling, you know, post-lunch crash was not there. That was the first thing I noticed. And secondly was my mental clarity, even at the end of, the, of a busy, tiring day at the clinic, was, was still as sharp as what it was when I was, in, I was there in the morning. Wow. So these were the two first things that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I immediately noticed. Have you ever given out any supplement to anybody and seen that kind of a response rate where that many people continue on the supplement? No, in my experience, no. Wow. What would you say to the doctors out there that think, oh, this is just another supplement, all hype, uh, supplements really don't do that much, and this is probably no different? My advice to them would be, uh, go and do your research and make your decision. Mm -hmm. Don't make your decision before doing the, your research. Right now, I tell everybody that I meet uh, about GXL because I think it is my obligation to do that. Mm. Even if they are not having any, uh, any problems at all, just for prevention.